Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razavi and today I want to talk about the top 10 best anime to watch on Halloween. Let's just get started, it's going to be a long video, feel free to skip around if it's necessary for you or just watch everything if you want to treat it like a podcast type of thing. Anyway, we're going to start off with Parasite. Now, when it comes to Halloween, I feel like this should be one of the first you're going to watch, especially if you're with other people, this is definitely a fun watch. It's quite scary. It's not the, the scariest one in this list, uh, but the story is also incredibly good. So I think that if, you, if you're into a good story, plus mix it with some scary stuff, then Parasite is one that I would highly, highly recommend. Basically, we follow a guy called Shinichi, and this guy basically wakes up one day and he sees this creature, a parasite type thing, trying to crawl up his arm. So it, it literally goes in his arm, and then through his, like like his bloodstream, tries to crawl up to his brain, okay? He's able to stop the thing. However, it is now lodged in his arm. His arm is now basically taken over by a sentient parasite, whom we're going to call Migi. And other people are also basically infected by these parasites, okay? The problem is, is that although Shinichi was able to like ward it off and ward off the threat, so to speak, others were not, meaning that a lot of them were infected in their brains by these parasites. That also means that certain characters in this uh, in this show are these controlled by these parasites. I get officially speaking they're aliens, but they're just parasites though. And um, yeah, basically they're able to like um, shape their bodies into like these new constructions in which they're able to like hurt others and even even go further than hurting them uh, by simply changing their body shape and stuff. They become incredibly strong and, and it's hard to detect who is the actual alien or parasite and who is the the real person in this case who is a human it is very cool it's 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 one of the best shows i've ever watched and especially during halloween this one is definitely worth it then let's go to dead man wonderland now the manga is better than the anime in my opinion but the anime is definitely very good we follow a guy and he um he is blamed for the murder of his entire class which is not true he didn't do it at all this is not spoilers, by the way. We know that he didn't do it because, like, that's the first episode. And he is sentenced to death. But he is sentenced to death in a sort of game park. And in this game park, he basically has to play games, not video games, like actual games, like real-life games, uh, and basically wager his life in order to be free again. And if he wins those games, he he'll, he'll be free. But the games that are being played and also what is being showed is it's horrific. Like there's a lot of gore in this anime. So especially on Halloween, uh, this is one that I think a lot of you should definitely at least take a look at. It's um, it, The story is awesome. We also have this very interesting character that's called Shiro. And we don't understand why she's there. So sometimes it feels like others cannot see her. But sometimes others can see her. It's really interesting. Take a look at Dead Man Wonderland. I highly recommend anyone to watch it on Halloween. Then we have High School of the Dead. Now this is a classic. If you're into zombies, most likely you have already heard of this. We follow a group of high schoolers and they are going to try to fight to fight the zombie plague in this case. So their high school is overrun by zombies. Basically the whole world is overrun by zombies. And now even though they're from different backgrounds and they don't really like each other, this group of of, of, of of attractive young people because they really are that's like one of the, the the major points of this show that they're all attractive and all awesome um they're going to band together to basically uh, survive and of course um you know fight the zombie horde so to speak now it, it's it's pretty cool uh like i said especially for halloween this is awesome because it's, it's about zombies and it's scary and of course there's a lot of gore so uh yeah take a look at this one high school of the dead absolutely awesome then we have Made in Abyss, and Made in Abyss is actually one that not everyone would put on a Halloween list, I guess, but I sincerely feel like you should. Um, not because of the story, the story is, can be scary sometimes, but it's mainly very emotional and dramatic, um, but the gore is uh, really, really up there. Like, take a look at this art style, right? The art style is incredibly cutesy, as you can see, but the gore is real in this one. <laughs> 
even though the art style is so cutesy. So don't let the art style fool you. This is uh, a gory anime. The story is, can be scary from time to time, but it's especially the gore that makes this the perfect anime to watch during Halloween. We basically follow a girl called Rico, and Rico is going to go down into the earth to try to find her mother, who also went down into the earth to like uh, do um, research and stuff. And she's going to find her mother as, in this case, an, a researcher as well. Now, uh, as you can imagine, the further down you go, the more monsters she will encounter and the scarier it becomes. And the problem is at some point, the deeper you go, the less likely it is that you'll eventually come up again. Because what, the, the moment that you try to go up again, you actually become very sick. But once you hit the bottom, and no one is really sure if anyone has ever hit the bottom, but once you do, basically you can never come up again. That will mean death. So that is why it, it's a very cool story. Um, the manga is still releasing. Uh, so the story is not yet finished. But it's very good. And the anime is definitely worth it as well. It's called Made in Abyss. Take a look at it. Then we have Tokyo Ghoul. Now this is another classic. Just like High School of the Dead. As, look, I'm sure most of you have watched this one already. That's why I didn't start with this. But you should definitely watch season one of Tokyo Ghoul. The other two seasons, because there's three, there's three in total, I'm not sure if they really would qualify as horror, but the first season definitely qualifies as a horror anime. Uh, the manga is also really good if you want to read it instead, but uh, in fact, I would dare to say that the manga is even better, but uh, definitely season one of Tokyo Ghoul is worth it. We basically follow a guy called Ken Kaneki, and he is um, he lives in a world where there are two types of people, I guess. You have normal people, and you have, in this case, what we call ghouls, who look like humans, they act like humans, basically they're indistinguish indistinguishable from humans, with the exception of one thing. Ghouls, in this case, eat other humans. In theory, they can also eat other ghouls, and sometimes that happens, but other ghouls don't taste that good, but other humans taste amazing. In fact, ghouls cannot eat anything except for humans and other ghouls. So if they would even try to eat human food, basically it tastes so disgusting and their body won't actually like break it down. So it basically means that they would die if they would only eat human food. Now, um, Ken Kaneki in this case, um, this is the first episode. This is a minor spoiler, but if I don't explain this, you won't understand the story. Basically this guy uh, goes out with this girl. He asks a girl out, a very pretty girl, uh, and uh, he goes on a date with her. Everything goes well and it's all fun and games. And then eventually they, they walk back home. Um, they go to this 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 place where there's you know it's 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 dark right it's it's night, and they're um, they're there and now they're going to uh, say goodbye basically. Uh, her, her name is Rize by the way. That that's the girl he actually asked out. But it turns out that Rize is a ghoul. He didn't know that of course, but she's a ghoul and she the reason that she went out with him is because she's planning on eating him. So uh, she attacks him, and as a ghoul, you are way stronger than a human. Uh, that's also another feature that they have. So she's easily able to overpower uh, Kaneki. And before she's able to eat him, she uh, is actually crushed, and also Kaneki in this case, also crushed by a... Um, uh, by, by some, uh, I forget, I believe it was metal bars or something that fall on them because of the fight accidentally. Now, Risa dies. Kaneki survives. But he is actually, he needs like, I believe a liver transplant or something. He needs some sort of a transplant. And he gets that in this case from Rize. Meaning that he is now half ghoul, half human. And he's unable to eat human food anymore. So he's basically more ghoul than human. And it's basically a story about how Kaneki tries, for as far as that's possible, to come to terms with the fact that he is now a ghoul, even though he's not accepted by ghouls. And to be honest, he's not really accepted by people either anymore, if he would tell others that he was a ghoul. So it's a very interesting story. There's a lot of gore, a lot of blood, a lot of, you know, it's, it's very scary sometimes. So Tokyo Ghoul, definitely one that I would recommend. Then we have Satsuriki no Tenshi. I have talked about this one in the past because it's good. Um, it is based on a game. Uh, the game is not that, uh, when it comes to the physics at least, and the, 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 the art style, it's not that great. The art style in the anime though is gorgeous. We, uh, we follow a girl called Rachel, and Rachel wakes up in a room somewhere in a building. She has no clue where she is, she has no clue how she got there, and she has no clue how to get out. 
but she definitely knows that she has to get out because this building is full of people that actually want to kill her. She also doesn't understand why they want to kill her, but it's very clear because they attack her on sight, basically. Now, when it comes to all of the anime that I'm currently talking about, this is probably one of the scariest one, ones, in my opinion. I don't think it's the scariest one, I'll, we'll come to that later, but this is one of the scariest ones. Because Rachel is, of course, she she's unable to protect herself against adult men who are trying to kill her, right? So, with, with knives and guns and stuff. So, it's very scary. Um, there is eventually this guy called Isaac, who at first also wants to kill her, but eventually joins up with her to get her out of there. There are reasons for that, you'll figure that out yourself. I won't spoil why, but he is basically now her bodyguard, and if it wasn't for him, most likely Rachel would have already been gone, you know what I mean? It's a very scary story because you have no clothes going on, there's no logic behind it at first, eventually there will be, of course, otherwise the story would be kind of lame, but um, yeah, definitely a scary one. For Halloween, this one is awesome. Then we have Mieruko-chan. Now, I'm currently reading the manga. I own all of the physical volumes. I am really enjoying the manga. But uh, it's it's quite scary. We follow a girl called Miko. And Miko, in this case, all of a sudden, really weird, basically is able to see black spirits. She doesn't understand why she sees them. It also doesn't seem like they they have a purpose in her life. But at some point, these black spirits are trying to make contact with her. And she doesn't want that because she's scared out of her mind be because of them, because they're really grotesque. They're basically grotesque monsters. So all she does is ignore them. That's all she does. Because these monsters, whenever they notice that, it seems like she's staring at them because she, she notices them, of course. Um, they go to her and ask her, literally, can you see me? And then she ignores them and then they go away. But these monsters are doing certain things that she doesn't understand why they're doing it, but it seems like s certain parts of her life are connected with them, and she doesn't understand why. Scary, sometimes. Sometimes even funny, to be honest. Um, definitely worth a watch. Uh, the anime is wonderful, the manga is even better. Definitely take a look at miyako chan Awesome stuff. Then we have another. And another is... A quite a scary story it is not the most popular horror anime of all time but it's definitely good um basically we follow in this case a group of high schoolers and um this really weird girl joins she's called may and she's just odd there's something off about her eventually certain murders start to happen in in uh, you know and and is it may that's doing that or is it someone else doing that who is may in the first place why is she there um, there's, lot, there's, there's a lot going on with this girl in this case and basically we're trying to there's a mystery around her and we're trying to figure out what that is um, it's a cool story uh, I'm being vague about it because well if, if I say too much to be honest I, I just ruined the story for you and this is basically a um, uh, you, you can only watch this once to, to have it be enjoyable right if someone spoils this to you it's not even fun anymore so that's why I'm trying to be vague but another is definitely good if you like the, the, the mystery type of horror, another is probably the one that you like the most, in my opinion. Then we have Gakko Kurashi. And just like with, in this case, Made in Abyss, as you can see, this is incredibly cutesy. We follow a group of girls who mainly live at school. We don't know why they live at school, but it's just all fun and games at first, it seems like. And at some point, something's off. After, basically, at the end of episode one, it is very clear something is off. Because we follow this girl... Yuki, and basically she's seeing things that are not there. Because it turns out, and yes, this is a spoiler, so I'm going to give you the time to skip if you want, but otherwise it doesn't really make any sense for me to put this in a horror uh, um, uh, video. Feel free to skip now. Okay, so uh, for the people that didn't skip, basically these girls live in a world that is full and filled with zombies. And they're the only ones left that actually... Um, are still have you know that are still surviving and they live at, at school but at some point they gotta go away because there's no more food and that's basically where the story starts Gakko Gurashi or school life in English awesome story take a look at it and then the final one which is happy sugar life now I won't say too much about this one simply because I think that it's best to have it be vague um, but we follow a couple friends sort of and um this one girl really likes the other, likes likes the, the person that she's living with, 
But I think that she likes this person a little too much and she becomes way too overprotective and basically feels like anyone is a threat to the person that she's living with. That's all I'm going to say. Happy Sugar Life. Uh, like uh, The manga is better than the anime, but the anime is definitely freaking good. For Halloween, this is also one that I would recommend. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then do me a favor and subscribe and click on all notifications to get notified whenever I upload. Because you know what the problem is? YouTube won't actually notify you unless you have clicked on that certain button. So please do so. Ladies and gentlemen, I was Razavi. And you were you. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.